for five years, you made life in that small room, that prison, as nurturing and normal as you Room. Lenny Abrahamson's new film is about kidnap and imprisonment. Hey, do you know what we're going to do today? What? We are going to bake a birthday cake. You chose to tell Jack that Room was the whole world, that there was nothing else. Good morning, Lamp. Good morning, Plant. But he says the film was a journey from darkness into light. For him to live. Because the premise is so dark and strange, this is the kind of film people could easily misunderstand. So the publicity has been such a gift for getting the word out that this is a rather extraordinary love story. Yeah, I mean, that's it. To, to get these audience awards that we've been getting, as well as the reviews, it's kind of alerted everybody, I think, to, the, to, the, to what we always knew, which was that this was a story um, about hope and about love and about childhood and about parenting. And that it's there for people to experience and they don't need to be afraid of it. Truck, wiggle out, jump, run, somebody. I'm scared. I know. I'm gonna be there in your head talking to you the whole time. Truck, wiggle out, jump, jump. when the truck slows down, run, run. somebody. Are you alright? Jack, listen to me. This is our chance. What I loved about the story was that it was an opportunity to take something that could seem could seem hard to watch on the surface, but to find the heart in it, to find the love in it. And it's like my favorite aspect of this human experience is the way that we are able to find love and to survive despite just the smallest of circumstances or the hardest of circumstances. I've been in the world 37 hours. That's us. We push. I see windows, and hundreds of cars, and birds, and grandma and grandpa. Jack, someone here like Room is on screens now, in the US, UK, Poland, and Turkey. Will he find us? No, he will never find us.